Can ChatGPT write sales grabbing headlines that can make people stop in their tracks and read every word of your sales page? Or is ChatGPT just not quite up to prime time yet? I'm gonna give you the ups and downs of using ChatGPT for both headlines and samurai level headlines, as well as some killer tips on how to hack the system today. I'm John Benson and this is Sales Copy Secrets. Welcome back, and this is all about headlines, subheadlines, sure, and how ChatGPT can help you write them in seconds. Okay, if you missed my last video on ChatGPT for sales bullets, you're gonna wanna look below, you're gonna wanna check that out first because I cover some stuff that you're probably gonna need to know to make this video make sense. And hopefully you remember my rating system, in case you don't, each video will feature the ups or con uh, pros of ChatGPT using a specific copy tool and the downs or cons. And I call the ups Halberts for the late great Gary Halbert, copywriter extraordinaire, and the downs I call Simons. And the reason why is explained in the previous video. You gotta check that out to find out who the hell Simon is. A little bit of mystery, all right? Now, you do not wanna sound like Simon, I can tell you that. You do wanna sound like Gary or Halbert, I can tell you that for sure, okay? Cool, let's dive into the training. Right now, we're gonna head over to ChatGPT. All right, as you can see, I am at ChatGPT, chatgpt.openai.com, I believe is the URL. And like we did last time, I am going to start by using default, which is 3.5 at this time of this recording. And it's gonna suck, let me tell you that right now. Okay, all right, it's gonna be assignment. I, I, I don't even have to read it, it's just gonna be assignment. Introducing the ultimate weight loss solution for women over 50. That's gotta be the worst headline I've ever read in my life. I died a little bit when I read that headline. My soul, like it felt like I was momentarily placed in Dante's third circle of hell. Okay, maybe it wasn't that bad, but yeah. I mean, it could be worse. I could date a Kardashian, um, but it's close. It's really close. Say goodbye to stubborn fat with our revolutionary weight loss. You can hear the radio voice guy, can't you? Okay, it's clearly five, three, five is not gonna work. So what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and do a new chat. We're gonna go to chat GPT-4 and do the same thing. Let's see if it gets any better. <laughs> it really didn't. Discover the revolutionary weight loss exclusion exclusive for women. Okay, it's so bad. It's just not good, but let's see if it gets any better because usually it starts off kind of slow, four does, and then kind of picks up along the way. And here's the problem before I go any further. When you read these, unless you're a pro copywriter or well-trained, you're gonna see that you might miss some of the stuff. You might miss it, right? And if you miss it, that's cool. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you not miss stuff, right? So. I'm gonna show you a little bit of copy stuff here because you still gotta know copywriting. Yes, we have cool AI tools now. You still have to know copywriting, otherwise you won't know what sucks or not, right? Right, duh. Okay, so the first one sucks. It's too obvious. Headlines are meant to grab intrigue. A headline, is the, the purpose is one thing, to get you to read the subheadline. <laughs> if, if you read the subheadline, your headline is pretty much succeeded. Now, I like to go a step beyond that and say I want to imprint something implant something in their subconscious mind that makes them even more curious, that puts, pre, maybe pre-frames something, pre-frames an idea, presupposes an idea. That's all complex stuff. We'll get into that stuff. Well, what am I saying? I've already gotten into that stuff all over this YouTube channel. Go check it out. I've got videos on headlines. You can learn all that cool stuff. But we're just seeing what chat can do right now. So this is definitely assignment, without a doubt, okay? But let's look if it gets any better. Shed pounds and gain confidence, the ultimate weight loss product, designed for women over 50. So shed pounds and gain confidence isn't bad. What's bad is the ultimate weight loss product design. It, it's, it's obvious and you can hear radio guy. You can hear Simon reading this, right? You can hear this, uh, okay, age is just a number, right? Okay, uh, okay, kind of trite. Achieve your dream body with our proven weight loss product. See, it, just, it cannot get out of its own way. Chat is stuck in its own way, even for without proper training to help it along the way. It's gonna write crappy stuff. Now, there are better prompts, obviously. I started with a lousy prompt on purpose, but this is a prompt that the majority of people would try. 
So this is not like I'm purposely trying to be super, super bad. It's just, this is pretty much the way a lot of people write. Now I'm gonna go grab a better prompt and let's see what it does. Okay, here we go. Pretend you're a professional direct response copywriter, write headlines for a weight loss product using dimensional language, real world examples. I wanna see it and feel it. Now I've got something else in here. Keep it to 12 words or less, okay? Why? Well, because it can really get pretty wordy when it's trying to be creative, especially when I say use dimensional language and real world examples. You can end up with a 50 word headline, a little long, Toasty. unless you're John Carlton. <laughs> then he can make that work. Toast. Let's see if it does any better. Okay, I tap the enter key. Shed 20 pounds in 60 days. You're going to get in trouble with that from a compliance point of view. Over 50 women's weight loss success unveiled. Not bad. It's okay. Real women, real results, over 50 pounds drop, three dress sizes with ease. That's pretty good. It's, it's, it, 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 there's a benefit there. You see, it's getting a little bit more beneficial. But notice every headline follows the same formula. Did you pick it up? Something, something, colon, something, something, something. <laughs> it's like, you think AI is like, it's like this super intelligence. It's going to take, take over the world. world. It's Terminator. It's Skynet. Skynet. Uh, it, it's not. It's a predictive engine and it's following very limited formulas. It's, it's read the internet, but it doesn't understand copy yet. Sorry guys. It will one day. And I am working on an AI that does understand copy. So I, you know, stay tuned for that because that's, yeah, wait till you see it. All right. Check this out. Well, it, but it's better. Age 50 plus women melt pounds fit into your high school jeans again. Not bad. I'm going to give this a reluctant Halbert. It's not great. If I saw it, I would, I would say, well, test it. It's a little lame. It's a little trite. It's not bad. Fit into your high school jeans again isn't bad. I've used that a whole lot in copy. But you know what's really bad is that exclamation point at the end. It just screams of desperation. So I would just edit that out. Okay. And what might work even better is if you just said fit into your high school jeans again, maybe a more simplistic headline. Okay. Just some ideas. Now let's take this a step further. Okay. I'm going to give it a samurai leveled hack trick that copywriters know called plural verbs. I've actually done a video on plural verbs. You can probably find it on my channel. What's plural verb? It's a verb that ends in S, right? What is it? Why? Why do you care, John? Because plural verbs make it sound easy. A plural verb makes it sound like it's done for you. So rather than say shed 20 pounds in 60 days, as the very first headline says, sheds 20 pounds in 60 days. Do you feel the difference? Adding one letter S to the end of that. Okay. Transforms after 50 melts pounds. It sounds like it's doing it for you. So I'm going to give it a command, rewrite each of these, starting with this. So I'm going to see how clever it can be. So rather than take out the colon stuff, right? This and add an S to the verb creates plural verbs every line as a headline. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to try that and see if it's smart. Let's see what it does. This proven solution sheds 20 pounds. And okay, so this, this breakthrough formula slashes three dress sizes with ease for women over 50. Okay. Notice the bad part of it. It's still, I'm going to, okay. It's, it's assignment actually. And the reason why is because this breakthrough formula, it's not bad to say that it's just not great. This proven solution is bad. And, and to, I won't go into why it is because it would take me months <laughs> to explain it, but this powerful product is awful. It's awful. You do not want to let anyone know that you have a product at all, not necessarily from a headline unless you're selling a supplement with a picture on it, right? So this powerful product is not how I would ever explain anything that I'm selling ever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it one more command. Okay. So here's the prompt. That's good, but rewrite it. Start with the word this immediately followed by a plural verb. So I want this melts, this uh, restores, this slashes, and let's see what it can do. I'm going to add one more thing to it. I'm going to try to tell it to expand to 12 words. So I'm going to have it write a little bit more. Okay. Notice it's already messing this slash. Okay. And so I'm going to say, stop generating and say, no, you need an S at the end of, of the verb, the second word, because it's got that part, right? Let's see if it'll get this right now. This sheds 20 pounds in 60 days. 
real life success stories for women over 50. This slashes three dress sizes with ease, empowering weight loss for women over 50, etc. This drops 40 pounds in three months. This restores youthful energy and confidence. Over 50 women's weight loss miracle. I mean, some of these are gonna be in compliance issues. They're better. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a tentative halberd. As you can tell, I'm not super massively impressed here, but those hacks, the plural verb hacks, definitely help it along. Now I'm coming back to you on camera here. I hope that you got something out of that, but I have a very inexpensive course called Chat Headlines. I want you to see the link below this video, and it uses few shot learning or FSL to train chat on some of the greatest headlines ever written as you go along. So that's how chat performs the best. There's no training in here. So we're just relying on prompts. I think relying on prompts is a big mistake. I think that you need to rely on FSL, few shot learning, and a few occasional prompts like I'm using here. All you do inside chat headlines is you just copy and paste. You put some data in that you want to, to, to reference and boom, out comes some epic headlines. Now, I'm going to dive into all of this even further in my next video on ChatGPT, including some options, some alternatives to ChatGPT that I think are even better. Stay tuned. I'm here to help make you unignorable.